This right here is a, a Roblox skin known as the Crazy Cartoonist Knife. And I don't know exactly if it's actually in the Mad Murder or not, or maybe even Murder Mystery, no one since they're exact copies of each other. I decided to take what I call my BFK, which is my big freaking knife, and I turned it into the Crazy Cartoonist Knife. I'm going to paint the eye, as you can probably see here. I have to smooth out the texture here, but I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is going to be a Halloween special kind of thing, and I'm probably only going to do this once, considering the fact that it's taken me at least two hours just to do this, because acrylic paint on surgical steel does not seem to go so well like I thought it was but thanks to this jelly roll pin right here that solid white makes my job ten times easier now I could have used spray paint but I don't have that material so since I decided to just go along with it I made a drawing representing the character the crazy cartoonist itself However, the Roblox version, as you can tell, is probably a more blocky version. So, and obviously I don't have a revolver, so I'm not going to do the crazy cartoonist revolver. I'm just going to do the knife. The only thing I have to do with this right now is I have to smooth out the knife right here. And that's pretty much it. As you can probably see right here, I have to basically just fill in these parts right around here. And what I can do with that is I can just take the jelly roll pen and just dab it multiple times like that. And as you can probably see, hopefully my camera's picking that up, it fills in each little, the little empty spots with little white dots. Which after I do that, I take this brush right here and just smooth it out. Just like that. Now, I do have palette knives, but I'm not exactly sure how well they would work, so I'm kind of scared. But, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get myself a red acrylic color. I'm probably going to go with, well, vermilion. Alright. So, what I'm going to have to do with this one is since my other brushes have white on them, I'm going to use this fine little brush right here. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to turn out, but I can only hope for the best, as since the white turned out just fine, so hopefully the red, which is they call vermilion, which is kind of like an orange looking color, hopefully it works fine as well. I can only just hope at this point. And I have to avoid accidentally filling in the pupil as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently dab around. I'm going to slightly fill in these spots. And be careful not to go into the white. Because if I do, well, you can probably make a major guess. Hey, it's probably going to mess up. <laughs> Knowing how logic works. Now, it looks bright orangish red as of now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some watercolor and I'm gonna mix it in with this a little bit later. But I'm going to layer them on top of each other. So hopefully, hopefully this will turn out just fine. Even if it's just red as of now. And the actual crazy cartoonist knife, well, it has dark red. So, uh, as of now, I can just hope that this works. That's what I'm going to cross my fingers for. <laughs> but I'm not going to give up hope, that's for sure. Now, I apologize if I sound nasally. It's just the fact that I've had whatever this is since June. So, that's that's just great. But, I'm not going to complain because, I mean, what's life without a little hardships, am I right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this vermilion, 
slightly dab around here with this finer coarse brush and I'm going to slightly go around the lead outline which I drew with my lead pencil here I basically just filled in this area and I'm, what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to fill in the details later so I'm going to just dab it like this and then after I get that probably going to add another coat of red like right, this and I'm going to try to fill in the holes makes it a little bit smoother now right now it looks crude and it looks kind of rough as you can probably see but like I said you just gotta wait gotta make sure each dr layer dries because I've had I have three layers of white acrylic paint on this and as you can see <laughs> I don't think I have much white left so I can just only hope that this last coat did the job and even if it looks a little rough I can easily just take my white jelly roll pen and just fill it in so that's no problem the only problem I'm having now is keeping from corrupting the white with the vermilion so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to as you can see I messed up so what I can do is I can take this paintbrush right here and just swoop and even if it corrupted the white a little bit I can easily just fix that like that and then swoop in see just like a broom so hopefully I can get this to focus there we go that's what I'm talking about so now you can see what I'm doing and it keeps trying to focus on my paintbrush that's why it keeps on focusing so what I can do is take this vermilion right here and smooth this out and around like so and I know it looks really crude I do apologize about that but I will continue to try to get this to work alright so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this paint I just now applied using this paintbrush I'm going to apply it and spread it around using this one now even if it, you can see the black metallic color in the background it's easy to hide that all you have to do is just take the paintbrush and just swipe it gently and like I said earlier I all I have to do if I mess up if I go off of the shape I could just take this like a broom I can fix the br bristles as you can see they're probably they're giving me some trouble as now I'm going to sweep it this is a technique I call sweeping anyways and it helps every time I've done a couple paintings in the past uh, using acrylic and uh, well I'm no professional obviously as you can see here it looks really is but with time and patience you can easily come out with a masterpiece I mean I'm not saying I'm a professional here but I at least just take time and I put love and care into my artwork that's all I gotta say and then after this I take my brush gently dab this corner right here and no I'm not talking about dabbing the, the, no just just no talking about using paintbrush dabs like this and Boom. Now I'm going to smooth it out now around it and then I will follow this line and 
done. Like I said, looks crude. I know. I'm working on it. Side view looks a lot better than the front view, but it's no problem, I guess. So, what I'm going to do now is blow on it a little bit. I'm going to press B to blow. Now I'm going to dab it a little bit and fill in any empty spots like that. Boom. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth that out. Now, what I can do, I can take two different approaches to this. I can use solid black paint or, or I can use Sharpie or lead pencil. Or I can even use my graphing pencil, or my graphing pen, shall I say, which is right here. This is a graphing pen. It works wonders on graphing paper, that, that's why I call it a graphing pen. What I do is I take my finger and I get it going like this. As you can see, it's ready. See? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my graphing pen and outline the area I'm going to write on. Or outline the area where the pupil is. And I'm going to do the same with the teeth. So it's going to be pretty easy, pretty nice. It's a precise way of doing this. Even if it's not the top, top way to do this, this is my kind of cheapy way of getting around it. There we go. There you go. Perfect. Now, I'm not going to do the teeth quite yet. I'm probably, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to use my ultra fine point sharpie here. I'm going to do this and I'm going to start from the inside and work my way out. I'm going to, and I'm going to do the same technique I did earlier. Get the sharpie going. There you go. It's going. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh boy, there we go, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to work my way from the inside out. So I'm going to do this right here. Now of course the sharpie is not going to respond instantly because this surface is not ideal for sharpies. But I have used it before on the past, or in the past, so. There we go. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to go from the top and go all the way down. There we go. Now I could use my fine point sharpie. I don't have to use an ultra fine point. I could just use a normal sharpie. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my ultra fine point. Go ahead and outline. And if I run into troubles, I could just use my graphing pen. It's no issue. Easily washable. If I don't like this design on my knife, well, I can easily just clean it right off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to finish this with my graphing pen the rest of the way since the sharpie was wanting to misbehave a little bit which is okay I mean can't expect everything to work perfectly so I'm going to basically yeah there we go make progress I go down basically create shark fangs that's what it looks like There we go. Now, I know, like I said earlier, I could have done this with spray paint. I could have made this ten times easier on myself, but look.